Welcome to Healthy Wealthy Academy. Learn how to be healthy, wealthy, and get happiness with K-O-K-O-S-H-U-N-G-S-A-N. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell for the latest updates. If you like it, please like, share it, and leave comments. Thanks for your support and for helping us make the world a better place. Business Vitality Vital skills you need to develop to become a business owner can help you transform from a person who dreams of being a business owner to one that knows the skills and business acumen involved to become a successful one. This guide is meant to give you the big picture of what your business can be if you follow some of the fundamental rules of online business success. Within business vitality, you'll discover how to cultivate the following areas of your business, the sales process no matter what business you're in. Making sales is imperative. You'll learn how to build your customer list by making offers they can't refuse and how to effectively close the deal. Communication a handshake and power. Lunch may not be involved in communicating with others in business, but communicating properly is vital to any online business. Learn how to use videos, media and other means to effectively communicate with customers and other business owners. Organization, management a successful business owner needs to be organized and know how to use available tools to run the business more efficiently. You'll learn some tricks about organizing your business and how to better manage your time. Mindset, the 21st century dictates that we must have a positive mindset to become a successful business owner. You'll learn how persistence and flexibility can set you apart from other business owners. Networking you won't get very far in your online business pursuits if you don't know how to network with others. This involves using social media sites as well as putting yourself in the forefront using the most effective ways possible. Non-stop education continuous learning is a must to propel an online business from beginning stages to its ultimate success. This chapter tells you why it's so important to continue the learning process and gives you some GPs about what works best when learning new ideas. Read on to discover ways to run and manage your online business that can ultimately help you reach your goals in fulfill your dreams. Chapter 1. The sales process Whatever your business is defined as, sales is the name of the game. Online entrepreneurs need to know how to drive traffic effectively to their sites and turn clicks into sales. It's a process that can make the difference in an online business breaking even, or taking off and prospering. Your website or blog may look great in. You may have amazing content on it, but without traffic the sites will lie dormant and you won't realize any business from it. Customers must know you and your business exists before any traffic is generated and any sales made. Gathering leads that have an interest in what you have to offer or a need to have the product or service is crucial to your business success. After you build a list of prospective clients, you can offer them a deal and hopefully a sale ensues. Building your customer list The key to building a reliable and active customer led list is developing a rapport with those who are like-minded. There are several ways to build a business lead list. Social media sites LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, and Google Plus are just a few sites that can help drive traffic to your sites or blogs. You can set an account apart from socializing and point it toward your business by creating a business profile and offering valuable information and some offers to your readers. The followers of your site's blog will become a part of your customer list and you can provide links and icons so that others can also visit your sites and convert to sales. Add contact forms Contact forms that your visitors fill out to get more information from you is a great way to build a lead list. When creating your form, ask for the least amount of information possible, such as name and email address. People become suspect if
They're asked for addresses and phone numbers, so make the contact form as short as possible and you'll receive more contacts. Email campaigns before social media. Email campaigns were the best way to build a list. Now, you can combine email marketing campaigns with your social media marketing to build your list in several areas at once. Be sure that the emails contain valuable information that the new contact will appreciate and don't bombard your list with emails. They'll eventually block your emails if they perceive that it's spam. Add contact features to your site unless you know who your visitors share and how to contact them, you won't be able to convert them to paying customers. Boo ions such as subscribe or sign up can immediately put your visitors on your list. Create groups that are interested in the same subject matter and ask your visitors to join. These groups can become target groups for future emails in newsletters. Use email open rates tracking information by tracking email information through sites such as Constant Contact. You can easily see the bounce rates, click through, opt in and open rates for any type of business at a glance. Call to action every piece of information that you share with your lead list should include a call to action that requests that your visitors can exchange for something they need. For example, you might entice them to buy right now by offering them a discount on the product or service. The call to action should always offer a benefit for acting now to get the best deal. How to make an offer they can't refuse to. Figure out what the offer will be to your visitors or customers. You must first find out what they need. It may be as simple as saving money on a product or service. The key is to make it attractive and genuine. When you're running a business, whether it's brick and mortar or online, you've got to attract customers by giving them something they really want or need and making it an exceptional deal. Here are a few ways to make them take notice of an offer. Make a deal with your competitor's affiliate marketing is one of the best ways to make money online by using the leverage of other marketers in combination with your own. Find out who has a business that offers much the same type of product or service as you and brainstorm ways to make money together. You'll double the success for half of the effort. Give them freebies with their purchase. Everyone likes to get something free, and when you offer your customers something of value for free to go along with the item they just purchased, it's a win-win for you both. B. Sure that the extras are something of value and not simply fluff that the customer will immediately recognize and feel they've gotten scammed. A special report on the subject matter or a free membership to your newsletter will help to build trust and a lucrative customer base. Exclamation mark. Offer discounts on other products or services. Offering a discount in another product or service can be a great incentive for purchasing something they want and are likely going to buy. Anyway, offering the discount also drives them to look at another product you have and expand their purchases. Closing the deal If you're losing more deals than close when visitors enter your site, it's a good way to know that your website isn't all it should be. According to a recent news article, Online visitors to shopping sites will turn away from almost $2 trillion worth of goods and services. Your visitors may not be filling their online carts for several reasons. Here are a few reasons that people say they leave a shopping site without buying. 1. Difficult checkout process. Many shoppers don't want to take the time to create an account for your site before they're allowed to check out. Ask them air the purchase rather than making them sign up before. Also, get rid of links and exits during the sale. Reducing the amount of times customers have to navigate the site increases conversion rates. 2. Can't locate crucial buttons. When shoppers can't locate checkout buttons and other informative buttons, they abandon the site in droves. You can increase the size of the buttons and choose a prominent color to increase the probability of being seen. 3. 
Don't request a lot of personal information and be sure to reassure the shopper about security. Online shoppers are particularly concerned about the use or misuse of the personal information they enter online. You may lose a ton of customers if you ask for too much or they're not sure that your site takes security measures. 4. Offer incentives. For purchase, such incentives as free shipping and discounts on future purchases are perks. That can mean the difference of abandonment of the site or closing the deal. 5. Provide a clear and concise return policy. Don't get mired in angry people wanting their money back unless you have something that you can point to that clearly states what your return policy is. A pop-up window is a good idea and grabs attention. Just because some of your visitors abandon the site doesn't necessarily mean they don't want to eventually make the purchase. Follow up on these customers by sending a targeted email reminding them of their interest or offer free shipping. Each step of the sales process is crucial to your eventual online success. Building a customer lead base, making attractive offers and finally knowing how to close the sale go together. Like building blocks to your financial success. Main learning points of chapter 1. The sales process in chapter 1. The essentials of an online sales process is explained from GPs on how to Build your customer list to closing the sale. Here are a few points you should have picked up from this chapter. Building a customer list can be achieved through various online channels, including social media, email campaigns, contact forms, clearly marked sales buttons and calls to action. Connect with like-minded people to build your list and offer relevant and valuable information. Offer perks such as freebies and discounts if they purchase now. Joint venture with other affiliate marketers who have similar products and services to reach various audiences. Make it easier to close the deal by offering incentives such as free shipping. Make the checkout process as easy as possible in some innovative ways. Create a website that's easy to navigate. Chapter 2 Communication 1 Essential skill that a business owner must have to be successful is good communication skills. That means being able to write well as well as speak and present yourself well. There are so many extraneous factors that are involved in communication skills that it pays to find out all you can about the various methods. Online Entrepreneurs Oyen think that since they're working behind a computer much of the time, they're immune to learning even basic communication skills. But, there are other avenues involved in communicating that demand a certain amount of expertise to get your point across. For example, online business owners Oyen have to create content for sites, comment on blogs and create sales pages and email campaigns. Unless you're fortunate enough to have a full-time personal assistant, that's an expert in these skills, you'll eventually have to learn them yourself. Among the skills you need to cultivate to become a successful online communicator are 1. Conversation skills. Although online business owners may use the written word to communicate most of their ideas, conversational expertise comes into play if you're going to execute videos or online presentations. Two. Interpersonal skills, knowing how to gauge your actions and words so that they have a good impact on others is crucial in communicating with others. You can learn to manage thoughts so that the actions and words you convey are effective communication tools. 3. Writing skills, your business success may be cut alarmingly short if communicating by the written word isn't a skill that you cultivate. Sending messages that ramble or have no purpose, poor use of grammar and punctuation and other writing faux pas can have a detrimental impact on your success. 4. Communicating with difficult people, it's almost inevitable that you run across someone in your business journey who's going to be difficult to deal with. Knowing how to 
Communicate with them to resolve a problem effectively is a key skill for business owners. There are many areas of communication that come into play as an online business owner. It pays to cultivate excellent communication skills in every area, especially those where you know you fall short. Communicating by videos Video marketing has become a preferred way for online business owners to communicate with customers and prospective customers. Using a video to show off your brand lets you show rather than tell people about your product or service. It's also a way to introduce yourself to others and communicate your sincerity and expertise. If you know how to plan marketing videos effectively it can boost your sales tremendously. Some things to remember when communicating your video message are plan carefully. Your message should be clear and concise. Don't waste the viewer's time by filling the video with lots of fluff that has nothing to do with your product or service. But, be friendly and engaging with your audience. Know your audience. What does your target audience need to know from you to make they want your product or service? You're communicating with them for a reason, and you must communicate it effectively too. Draw them in. Seek feedback. Be sure to place buttons and links within your video so that it will be easy to navigate from one place to another if desired. Also, provide your audience with a way to ask questions or provide valuable feedback about your presentation. Less is more. That simply means that you shouldn't drone on and on so that you bore your audience and make them opt out. Plan your statements so they're easy to understand and will entice the viewer to want more information. The crux of the video should differentiate between your product or service and your competitors, but don't be condescending in your video. By communicating exactly what you offer, you'll be making a comparison they can figure out for themselves. Communicating by Media Various forms of media that are being used by online entrepreneurs to communicate effectively are television, blogs and social media sites that include Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter. Although these are the top three social media sites, there are other ways to communicate, such as the use of television, but that type of advertising gets very expensive and isn't in the realm of most new internet marketers. A blog dedicated to people who have the same interests can have an incredibly effective impact in communicating with followers and those who are interested in the information and products or services you have to offer. The key to having a successful blog is to keep up with it, answering questions and providing relevant and useful information about the product or other interests. You can provide links on your blogs to your website, social media pages, YouTube videos and various other ways you've chosen to communicate. Communicating by live presentations webinars, conducing live interviews with top internet marketers and training courses can be a boon to your communication skills if you know how to conduct them properly. If you don't know how to effectively conduct a live presentation or are nervous about it, there are training sessions you can join and lots of online information that should get you over your jitters or lack of knowledge. Your presentation should be well done so that the audience retains your information and wants to learn more. You should choose the best technology available for your live presentation, including charts and other methods. Follow up. Your live presentations with the emails and other information, such as social media sites, that you gathered when people signed up for the presentation. A short email of appreciation for amending in. Links to your blog or website are invaluable to build your customer list and reach the widest of audiences. Also, seek feedback for your presentation. You can learn a lot from these comments in. Tweak your next presentation to be even better. Main learning points of Chapter 2. Communication Chapter 2 of Business Vitality features some advice on the art of online. Communicating through various platforms such as blogs, email campaigns, websites and media. Some 
Points of interest for Chapter 2 include How to develop communication skills in writing Presenting videos, conversation and interpersonal skills Keys to communicating via videos 1. Of Internet Marketing's Most Popular Ways to Increase Sales How to Communicate Effectively Through Social Media Blogs and sites such as Facebook, LinkedIn and other social media sites are Popular ways to communicate with others. How to use live presentations in your online business. Pursuits. Chapter 3. Organization, management whether you have a large business to run or a small. Home office, organization and time management are necessary to function effectively. A well-run. Business should be assessed periodically for areas that need help and systems need to be put in place so that the same mistakes aren't made over and over. Organizing your online business most. Businesses that fail soon ere they begin do so because of lack of organization. Setting up an organized business in your home or office away from home only takes a short while, but will save much time and effort later on. Here are some GPs to help you organize your online business so that it can run smoothly in the future. 1. Keep personal and business finances separate. When you start mixing your personal and business credit cards and other items you're going to be in for lots of headaches. It's important that you begin your business totally separate from other parts of your life. 2. Invest in financial software to track business finances. Online business accounting may seem like a daunting task at first, but with help from software such as QuickBooks, you can easily keep track of keep track of business expenses and revenue. 3. Use a tracking program to keep track of customers and items you promote or create. For future peace of mind, tracking business steps you take is imperative. You'll feel much calmer and more at ease when you can find past decisions you've made in a moment's noise. 4. Seek storage. Solutions. Even though much of your business will be kept online in various programs, you will receive paper items and other miscellaneous items that need to be stored. Printer cartridges, paper, and other documents should be stored in a filing cabinet or find creative ways to store at your local container store. If you've never organized a business or office space before, have Patience. It sometimes takes a while to know where to put things and what to keep or what to throw away. There are many organization ideas for offices and for online businesses in books and online. Be sure you have a plan in mind before you get too far along in your business plan. Being organized from the beginning will help matters flow smoothly in the future. Managing your online business. Effectively managing your online business effectively will help you in day-to-day decision-making and growing the business. Thanks to technology, managing an online business is much easier than it used to be because of all the help in tracking, advertising, feedback, social media marketing and other methods. Many free, downloadable programs exist to help you manage your online business. It's up to you to choose which ones will help you the most. Time is a precious commodity to most online marketers because many are balancing a full-time job and working on their online businesses at night or on weekends. Here are some tips about managing your online business that may help you. Maximize the creative time you can devote to it. Delegate any business can benefit from. Delegating work that is either menial, such as filing, or that takes a great deal of expertise, such as content writing. When you delegate certain tasks, you're giving yourself more time, which is definitely the more valuable commodity when you're running a business. Even though you're paying money for these skills, you're able to build the business faster and more effectively. Set goals and stick to the plan. Goal setting is one of the major things you can do to grow your business. It's important that you set daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly goals and hold yourself accountable for achieving them. 
Setting goals keeps you from wasting time because you don't know what to do next and flitter away the time that's available to you. Don't set intimidating goals which will only frustrate you. Make them easily attainable if you simply stick to the plan. Take care of yourself. Don't spend 24-7 staring at your computer and devoting all of your time to your business. It's important for you to have a clear mind for decision making and goal setting. Exercise and diet are important parts of running a successful business because it keeps both your body and mind in shape for peak performance. Set time breaks from your work if needed and find time to meditate and feed your mind as well as your body. Research online for the best management software tools that can help you accomplish your goals with a minimum amount of effort. There are free programs that can generate email responses, reminders and help you with scheduling and tasks. Choose those that are best for you. Main learning points of Chapter 3. Organization, Management Chapter 3. Organization, Management provides information about the crux of having an online business. It doesn't matter how much you love the business and how hard you work unless you're organized and use management tools available to help you manage your time and the endless tasks it takes to run a business. Here are some ideas that you can take away from. Chapter 3. One of the most important things you can do when you organize your business is to keep your personal and business financial matters separate. Proper storage is imperative to keep everything in your office labeled and organized so that you don't waste time. Invest in software that will help you keep organized and also save time in the running of your business. Managing your business effectively means that you must learn how to delegate to others so you have more free time to grow the business. Setting attainable goals helps you to complete your tasks on time and plan the future success of your online business. Take care of your mind and body so that you'll be up to the many tasks and sometimes stress of running a business. Chapter 4. Mindset Never underestimate the importance of mindset when running a business. The two major aspects of a business owner mindset are persistence and flexibility. Without them, a new business will quickly fail and a substantial business will become stagnant. How to persist and come out ahead. During the ups and downs of managing an online business it happens in every business. One day, you're on top of the world and the next you're tapping all your inner and outer resources to keep going. Business, like life, is unpredictable and your ability to be persistent in your goals when everything seems to be falling apart is necessary to live life to the fullest in. Take your business to the pinnacle of success. Here are a few ways that business owners can persist while in the face of difficulties and beyond. Think clearly about the path ahead. You know there will be obstacles on your path to business success. When you're focused on the path and imagine the journey to get to the point of success you can better handle any obstacles that may block your way. Be passionate about your business to be successful in anything in life. Passion has to be a part of your mindset. When you become discouraged, it's important that you stop and think about why you wanted to own a business. Rekindle your enthusiasm for your business by having a purpose to go on and focus on that purpose. Make a commitment to your business. Success dedicating yourself to your business is much liking taking vows in a marriage. You're Taking a pledge to do everything you can to put your physical and mental abilities into the business to make it a success. And, similar to a marriage partner, you should know everything you can about the business before taking the big step to commitment. Ride the waves with grace both up and down as a business owner, you'll be faced with good times and bad. Hopefully, you've planned ahead and can face both with a positive attitude. During the down times, persistence pays off like at no other time. Keep to the plan and you'll come out ahead. Whether you're on a mission to lose weight, learn a new language or manage your online business, persistence is the key to success. 
Practice it in all areas of your life. Flexibility sets you apart from other business owners. Flexibility in business counts when you face unexpected challenges or just to keep to the plan you set for yourself. Sometimes market shifts and rule changes throw you a curveball that you're not expecting, and unless you're flexible in the way you run your business, change is inevitable in your personal and business life. The ability to see beyond minor and major changes and what they mean to you in the long run can give you a competitive edge with other online marketers. Here are some things to remember about being flexible in a business environment. Be ready to adjust your sails. Every great captain of a sailing vessel knows that they must adjust the sails according to how the wind blows. Adjusting your sails. In business means that you may need to lower or raise your prices, seek help in various tasks or change your advertising plan. Time to refocus when the tides change, it's time to refocus on the plan you have for your business. Those who stick to a non-bending business plan can fail to miss the opportunities that arise from a changing marketplace. Be ready to rewrite your Business goals sometimes goals need revisiting in order to achieve the maximum benefits from change happening all around you. Always keep the end result in mind, and that means that you may have to change some of the smaller goals. Prioritize you'll retain more flexibility if you've prioritized your goals. Those who set business goals must be flexible on lower priority goals, but keep focus and energy targeted to the high priority goals. When something fails, see it as a benchmark. Delays or missed deadlines that are beyond your control are bound to happen. You'll be able to minimize stress and carry on better as you're flexible when change happens. When you maintain persistence and flexibility in your business mindset, you'll achieve Goals based on a plan that adapts like a chameleon to changes that take place in our ever-shifting world. Main learning points of Chapter 4. Mindset to achieve ultimate business vitality you must have a mindset that can adapt to the changes that are bound to happen. Persistence and flexibility are absolutely necessary in running an online business in the 21st century. Here are some tips from Chapter 4. Mindset to keep your attitude in the right frame for business success. Persistence in business can mean the difference in simply giving up and adjusting to fit the current market. Passion can keep you persistent in your business goals no matter what's happening, and a strong commitment to your eventual success can keep you on track. Have a plan, but be prepared to adjust your sales if the wind starts to blow in a different direction. Keep your business priorities in mind with everything you do. It's easier to adjust or rewrite some of the lesser goals as long as you stay on the path to ultimate success. Don't become discouraged when things don't go exactly as you planned. Do what it takes to step back and take another look at the long-range business plan and use a setback as a stepping stone rather than an obstacle. Chapter 5. Networking just because you spend the main part of your online business behind a computer doesn't mean that you don't need networking skills to help your business stand apart from others. Connecting with like minded business owners can help you in many ways, including branding your product or service and opening endless opportunities. Connecting with others on the net is easier now than ever with all of the social networks and other ways to stay connected. Here are some ideas about networking on the internet that will benefit your business. Think of social network sites as the new power lunch or golf game for internet marketers. Joining sites such as Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn can set you up to cultivate valuable clients, partners and mentors that can help your business grow. Comment on blogs. Blogs are great ways for those who are interested in the same subjects. Can connect and exchange valuable information. You should not only comment on blogs, but have a blog of your own so you can find out what others are thinking. Join forums. Don't be 
intimidated by forums that seem to be much more advanced than what you think you are. Forums are great ways to learn and to get advice from those who are in the know about things. Technological and methods that will help your business grow. Leverage social networking sites to build your business. Many joint ventures and subsequent business successes have began on social networking sites. When you have a rapport with another marketer, it's easy to figure out a way so that both of you profit from the joint knowledge you have. Networking sites that can help you connect don't limit yourself to Twitter and Facebook to promote your online business with social networking. Branch out to other business-related contacts and gain even more in knowledge and business acumen. Here are some networking sites you may want to check out. E-Factor This Online community is targeted especially for online entrepreneurs and is full of great ideas. Networking for professionals This networking site helps you network with others who have the same interests, plus gives you some insight into the reality of running a business. Ziggs The slant on this networking site is how to maintain respect, integrity and professionalism for your business. Focus helpful to IT professionals and focused on helping online business owners to make the right decisions based on their business goals. Networking is a large part of making your online business a true success. Take a look at the above sites and other networking sites that may help you grow your own business with a Lee Eel help from your friends. Main Learning Points of Chapter 5 Networking Networking is a vital part of any business, and especially online businesses. It's crucial that you take advantage of social networking to learn new skills. Cultivate relationships with other entrepreneurs and learn new knowledge about what's happening in your particular niche. Here are some takeaways from networking that you can use to build your business through help from others. Networking can be achieved by joining forums, social networking sites and commenting on blogs, or starting your own blog for like-minded business owners. Use networking to get the word out about your business and what you have to offer. Don't be afraid of joining forums that might be intimidating, especially if you're a beginning online business owner. The contacts you make may become a vital link to your Success. Don't limit yourself to the most popular networking sites. Expand to include other sites that you enjoy and that you have much in common with. The sites might be smaller in population, but the contacts you make can be long lasting. Chapter 6 Nonstop Education Many times, when people reach a certain age or stage in life, they quit learning. This is a bad thing. For the mind, just as it can be a bad thing for your business. Unless you educate yourself. Constantly, keeping up with the latest trends and news, your business may become stagnant and cease to grow. Constant learning keeps our minds agile and is the commonality of all successful entrepreneurs. It's the edge that keeps us competitive and spurs us on when others give up. Able. Always be learning every day, is the best advice that a business owner can take to heart and that will help his or her businesses grow and prosper. Here are a few GPs that will keep you ahead of the game. Share what you know with others by teaching others what you know or passionate about. You'll be reinforcing your own knowledge and answer challenges that are sure to occur when dissertation takes place. Read something new every day about your type of business never. Think you know it all, but be ready to read or listen to another way of doing things or thinking. About things that concern your business. Meditate every day reflect on what you've learned. Each day or simply be silent and let your mind travel its own path by meditation techniques. Be open to the ideas and new thoughts that will fill your brain. Get enough sleep no one can. Learn properly if they're suffering from lack of sleep. Your brain is ready to shut down for a while when it's tired, not participate in a session of learning. Exercise and eat. Healthy the human brain can become lethargic and out of shape when you don't take care of your 
body properly. Exercise produces endorphins that keep you enthused and happy so that learning is more enjoyable. American statesman, Benjamin Franklin, said, being ignorant is not so much a shame as being unwilling to learn. Always be willing to learn new things, accept new challenges, and use learning as an innovation tool for your business success. Exclamation mark. Main learning points of. Chapter 6. Nonstop Education Chapter 6 focused on the theory that constant learning is key to keep your business growing and prospering. Every day there is new information about online businesses and about your particular niche. It's important that you keep your mind in top shape so that you're always up to the challenges that are sure to be a part of your business. Strategies. Here are a few things you should have learned in Chapter 6, Nonstop Education. Learning is a lifetime pursuit. If you don't engage in the learning process your brain will become stagnant and you won't be able to absorb new ideas and information that can make your business a success. Meditation is a vital part of learning because it silences your mind so it can rest and be ready for the next influx of new information. Meditation can also reinforce ideas that you may have learned earlier. Sleep, diet and exercise are important for keeping your mind in GP top shape for learning new things. It's vital that you don't let your brain become stagnant. Share knowledge with others. Besides reinforcing the knowledge you have, sharing with others will build a network with which you can both give and gain valuable information that can help your business grow. Business Vitality, a blueprint for online business. Success, business vitality, vital skills you need to develop to become a business owner, is designed and written to help put you on the path of developing a successful and vital online business. So many are jumping on the online business bandwagon, but few have the knowledge or skills to do what it takes for success. This book is useful for beginners and those who have developed an online business, but it hasn't really taken off as you hoped. The guide you have. Read guides you through the important parts of running a business, from the sales process and some GPs about closing the deal to how vital your mindset is and how to keep it positive. Another must when running your own business is to be a great communicator. This guide shows you ways to incorporate the best methods of communication into your online business organization and management style of your business is also key to your business success and business vitality. Provide some great GPs about how you can use outside resources and your own intuition to better run your business. Business vitality. Vital skills you need to develop to become a business. Owner covers the very fundamental skills that it takes to become a success in helping your dream of owning your own business a reality. Learn more at uni24x7.com kokoshungsan pays you to have fun. Kakashingsan.net